Hi and welcome to this step-by-step -step tutorial. Um, I'm going to show you this uh, uh, see-through baitfish that I've um, that I've, uh, I've uh, tried out this weekend. Uh, I was uh, fishing with my friend uh, Tommy Johansson from Saltfrue. Uh, I went to him the, uh, last Friday and I've been staying there all weekend. And we we, we have been fishing in Sweden and uh, and you know over there in Sweden and and on uh, on Varde, it's a lot of small bait fish herrings and then as we call brishling in Norwegian and uh, he was fishing with this uh, see-through bait fish and he caught quite a good numbers of sea trout on it and uh, and um, I actually tied some myself and tried it out so I've been fishing a lot with it this weekend and it really works great and you know I I don't have a lot of bait fish uh, tutorials on my channel and uh, I've been looking on different types of flies, but uh, you know, I haven't found anything that I personally like. And, and um, this one is really, really a fish catcher, and, and it looks great, and it's fast to tie, and and yeah, it's so not so complicated. So yeah, so for this fly, you're gonna use uh, cochlear hackles. Uh, you can use uh, badger. You can use uh, other types of hackles. This is a Chinese. Rooster neck, uh, ginger natural, uh, quite uh, cheap, and the cochlear is not so expensive uh, either. So that is for the tail, and for the body and and you know the front part, I'm using from Ajensen. It's uh, see-through dubbing, uh, and I'm using the black one and the white one. And and you can also use uh, here. I've tied in some 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 uh, pink just behind the eyes and. And, uh, and I've used some yellow, but uh, I'm gonna leave uh, the material list in the description underneath, the, yeah, so you can see what I'm using. So that's for the for the body and from the front part. And for a hook, I'm using uh, uh, Omnur Mosquito size one, a quite a big hook, and I, I really like that for for this pattern. You you need that because uh, this is a quite big fly and quite big hook. You need that. Um, I really think that works great and yeah so that's the hook I'm using uh, for eyes I'm just using four millimeter uh, 3d eyes and 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 I'm using super glue this Loctite stuff I mean uh, I, I'm not so uh, so um, so you know my knowledge of super glue is not so great but uh, I've been using it uh, the last year I've been using quite a couple of years I've been use, starting to use super glue uh, is, I'm not so big, a huge fan of it, but now this is actually I didn't know it, it existed. It's it's uh, it's uh, this gel, you know, and uh, got 60 seconds before it uh, hardens up. And I mean, it's so easy. This this tube, uh, you got a nice tip on it like this, uh, and it's so easy to work with. Uh, no, yeah, and the only thing you have to think about with this super glue is this type is uh, of. Um, or tube is made of uh, a metal and, and some aluminium stuff. So if you press like now, if I would press on it, you know, press it in, uh, when you take off the cork, it will. So uh, be careful uh, on using it. Um, uh, don't press hard on it. So just be careful. I'm going to show you how to use it, but this is quite, uh, it's not so expensive, quite cheap. So yeah, that's the materials for tying thread. I'm just using Unithread uh, 6.0 in a tan or gray color. It's not so important. I'm gonna use a dubbing twister and I got this uh, uh, scissor from Mark Petitron, uh, this big one. Uh, it, it, it's, it's a little bit expensive, but um, I use it a lot and uh, everyone I show this uh, scissor to just goes like, wow, that's a good quality and it actually is. It's, it's, Okay, it's a little bit expensive, but if you buy it, you're gonna have it for many years. So yeah, uh, this one is quite nice. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's start this fly. Okay, yeah. So here, here you can see the fly, and you can see the tail and everything. It looks great, and it, it really looks great in the water when you throw it out and it, and, it, and, it, and you strip it in, and when you stop, the fly goes like stands there and almost stands still it's just it's kind of like a hoovers hoover, yeah it's hovers in the water so yep let's start by putting in a hook like that and 
let's tie in our thread. I'm going to tie all the way to the barb like that and go back again to the hook point and I'm going to select a couple of feathers. So I'm going to choose one from this side and this side. I'm going to choose a quite big one. Oh, that's a little bit small, a little bit bigger. And you don't have to use cochlear I mean, uh, but I really like the, the color of it and the, the transparent feather. <laughs> it's really nice. So pick up a couple of nice ones. And I'm going to put them uh, so the the doll side is at, uh, you know facing uh, uh, facing each other the doll sides of the feather. Let's see down here. As you can see, here's here's the here's the top part and the underneath here it's 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 quite it's not so shiny. So I'm gonna place them facing each other and make sure the tips are lined up like that. Okay. And I'm going to measure the tail and I'm going to use two and a half to three times the length of the hook about there. So there's one, two and about three. You can you can choose how long you want it. So I'm going to measure like that. Not too long. I'm going to, you know, you can you, you have to check out the, the length of the herrings you got in, in in the area you're fishing. But at my area, they're about five to six, almost seven centimeters long. So about there and I'm going to pinch it with my under, other hand and I'm going to open up here okay like that I'm going to pull this forwards I'm going to check it again I'm going to check the top looks great and I'm going to hold it like that this point and I'm just going to press it down and tie lock it in a couple of turns and I'm going to pull my fingers back and I'm going to twist it a little bit to me because that's going to kind of make sure this doesn't roll over the hook, you know, so it stays on the top like that. Okay, so there we go. That's the tail, quite easy. And then we're going to tie in this one and snip it off. I need a scissor. There we go, a scissor, nice scissor. Bloop. Okay, and then I'm, I'm going to fix the tail. I'm going to fix the tail and make it um, um, tapered and everything. So I'm going to snip out the tip okay so i'm just gonna slide my fingers back check it about where i want the tip it's about there i'm gonna pull a little bit careful a little bit back so you don't pull off the fibers and i'm gonna snip it off there boom and i'm gonna pull it back again and then i'm gonna make uh, the the tail of the fish okay so i'm gonna pinch out a small section that i want is gonna be the you know the the tail I'm going to pull this forwards like that, make him stand out from the hackle. I'm going to check the tail, it looks great. I got one fiber, no it's not, it's the hackle actually. There, and I'm going to take my nice long petitone scissor and I'm going to make a taper. I had, three, had a little bit too much coffee this morning I think. I'm going to shake it on my hand. As you can see, I'm just snipping off. A nice tapered way. Okay, take the underneath part. It could be a little bit tricky, but like that. And I'm gonna check it. Pull out the fibers again. Don't want it. To, you see here, this is too. What shall I say? It's too. It's too wide. Okay, so I want it a little bit thinner. Perhaps we can go in this way. I haven't tried that. I'm not so good with my left hand. Maybe we can try. Oh, this scissor is so good. I'm sorry if, if you know it, it's nothing like a. It it just works great, and you know nice, you know uh, tools that works is 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 just yeah. I love tools that are of high quality. I really like it. So yeah, but you can use an, an any scissor you got. You just I'm just yeah. So make a nice taper and you can, as you see, you got some fibers here. You can just snip them off like that. And there we go. There's the tail. So use a little bit time on this and I'm actually going to use a little bit super glue here. Just a little, little to, to, to hold the, 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 the fibers together. OK, 
Okay, and uh, I uh, on this fly, where is it? There, this one. Is I, I'm been fishing with this all weekend, and and as you can see, there's a super glue there, and it's not. I mean, it stayed that way all weekend, and I fished a lot with it. I lost one eye, but I keep a super glue. This super, glue, I have one in my bag with some ice in a Ziploc bag, so I can put on some ice if I if they fall off. I kind of like having ice on the fly. So yeah, okay. So there's the tail. I'm gonna just gonna put on a little bit of super glue down here, just a little point, and don't press too hard on the tube. Okay, just careful, careful. Just a little bit drop on each side. Each side. It's yeah, on each side. It's each. Sorry, yeah. So there you go. As you can see, I've, I've pressed a little bit, and it, now it's already starting to. You see, so don't press too hard on the tube. That's a little trick. So if you got, you see here, it's coming out a little pearl. I usually wipe it off off before I put on the cork again. Okay. So I just wipe it off and don't press on the tube and lock it down like that. Okay. So I'm gonna uh, tie in the uh, kind of the underbody and I'm gonna use some white, pull out and just dub it on. This kind of just fills up the body, you know. And, uh, and, and when this comes in the water, this will shine through. So just dip, dub on some. Doesn't matter actually how it looks, but just, you know, it doesn't have to be tapered anything, just fill up. That's some nice white transparent stuff. Okay. So like that. And what I did with the other one here, I, I actually tied in some of the pink stuff. Just a little pinch of pink and a little bit pinch of white. So just a little bit of pink and a little bit of white. So we get this nice, it doesn't uh, have to be much, just a little bit. And here it's quite important to have good space for the front part of the fly, as you can see. You see, this part here is about four millimeters. It's very important, okay? So now you, I don't like to brush this part because we're gonna have a, a, a kind of a cap over what should I say, you know, you're gonna make a dubbing loop and make the front part of the fly, so yeah. Make a dubbing loop, about 12, 12 centimeters, 12 to 15 centimeters about there. Tie it in, hook on the dubbing twister, and I'm gonna prepare the front part. I'm gonna move my thread all over there. Okay, okay. So we're gonna make the front part of the fly, and I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna use some yellow and black. I'm gonna have some yellow at the back and black in the front. If you, if you have a, a dark fly, if you have some, you know, if you want you want the dark stuff to kind of show a little bit more, you can use a lighter color underneath and the dark over like that, and the dark part will actually pop up a little bit better. But uh, so uh, it's it's almost like the sunray shadow, you know. We got the white part underneath and the black on the top. So yeah, so I'm gonna use uh, some yellow. This is creamy yellow, and I'm gonna sorry. I'm just gonna pull out, and I'm gonna use the same technique as I use on uh, on Hulopa. I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna pull out the fibers like that, just just a little bit. You have you have to be careful on on the amount of, of, of materials you're using. Don't overdo it. Just a little bit. Put it down on your on your on your leg, and I'm gonna pack this up again, and I'm gonna use some black in the front. Of course, you can here you can use some pink and you can use some orange, but again, I like this kind of you know tan colors now at the at this at this fall because it works great. So I'm gonna pull out some black using the same technique, and I'm gonna check the the amount because I don't want it too too much. I'm just gonna line up the fibers and I'm gonna check it. It looks great. Not in too much. I'm gonna put it underneath the yellow. So I got yellow and black, and I'm gonna pinch the whole thing with my hands like this. Okay, and put it in the dubbing loop. So let's see. Let's put this uh, fibers in the dubbing loop like that, and I'm gonna make sure it's in the middle. 
and I'm also making sure that I'm kind of widen out this part okay don't com don't make it too compact just about five centimeters ish okay so like this and I'm gonna twist it up and I'm gonna stop it and I'm gonna brush now because you have to brush a little bit twist it up and brush a little bit. and here actually you need to use some time because if you don't I mean this this is going to be like that, like that. That is too compact, as you see. You have to make sure that that uh, that this part, as you can see, it, it's too thick. The 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 center part of the the dubbing, you see. You have to brush it so it's nice and thin. So here you have to work a little bit, okay. And I don't, actually I'm using a, a toothbrush because it's not so hard you know so so rough on the fibers it won't pull out the fibers but it will actually help it a little bit more okay and then i'm going to twist up a little bit more and then i'm going to brush a little bit more so it's kind of yeah so make sure the center part is nice and thin as you can see i'm getting there there i am now it's nice and thin i'm going to help you out with a little bit this one you see nice and thin and then we're going to start tying on this stuff and as you can see this yellow in the back makes this fly looks great but you can use white or a lighter color but i like the yellow stuff but, uh, you can use uh, white body white and black so you don't have to buy all the colors but you know <laughs> it's nice to, to kind of make uh, a pattern a little bit personal for yourself you know choose some colors you like and suddenly you get catch a lot of fish because you have the you believe in what you're doing that's kind of it's very important in, in fly fishing so yeah okay make sure to, to pull the fibers back and here we go this looks great I'm just gonna put my dubbing loop there and I'm gonna take the brush you can also use a little needle that's not full of super glue and pull out the fibers oh yeah actually this this fly looks a little bit better because it's a little bit more translucent in the amount of fibers this looks great okay i'm gonna finish off my dubbing loop a couple of cross turns pull it back and tie it off quite fast uh, uh, fly to tie I mean you know okay uh, th this tutorial is quite long but but it's because I've been talking you know if I wouldn't be talking this takes about whew, yeah just a few minutes to tie a beautiful fly and it looks so great I mean yeah okay and then we have to work a little bit with our brush before we put on the eyes make sure every fiber is where you want it you can pull out some of it uh, some of this stuff you know like this and when you're happy I'm quite happy I'm happy all the time but what I'm gonna do now oh sorry what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna make sure these fiber are not too long I don't like I'm gonna just gonna pull everything back like that and I'm gonna break off the tips make sure you don't break off your tail because some of them are quite long and I don't want too long fibers I just want this nice Ooh, look at this guys I mean it's so great and it's so easy to tie and then I'm gonna put on some ice see through bait fish wow thanks a lot Karen Karen Leo Lund you know the guy from Denmark that make this perfect Leo shrimp this is from him you know I wasn't uh, you know when I saw this fly and uh, Tommy said that this is a uh, fly Karen has made. I, w I wasn't surprised because this is typical him. I'm just gonna dab it, you know. Don't pr don't press on it on this one. Just just punch it like that. I'm gonna lay this one down there. I'm gonna take out one eye. That wasn't nice. I think I'll choose another one. I'm gonna. Put it on and now we got 60 seconds before this super glue dries up you know I'm gonna 
place it where I want it. Press it a little bit. Make sure you don't get super glue all over your fingers. That's great. And what I did, I didn't tell you, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna make sure all the fibers are coming naturally out from this part, you know? So we, I'm just gonna groom it with my thumb or you can use, I don't like to use this. I'm just gonna use my fingers like that, like so. And when I'm happy, I got this in my right hand. As you can see, there's already a little pearl there. I haven't touched it, so don't don't press on it. Just dab it. I don't I don't I don't know if it dabbing is what I you know what I mean. And before I put on the cork, I'm just gonna wipe off the excess. Don't press on the tube. Just put on the cork and leave it. Okay, don't press on it. Just leave it there. And I'm gonna put on another eye, making sure. It looks great. It's where you want it. Put it on. Make sure you don't have a lot of super glue on your fingers. You can use whatever tool you want to put on these ones. Just gonna use my fingers and I'm gonna press it a little bit. And now we've got 60, 60 seconds. Wow, look at this. Oh my God. And I, I mean, this is a quite easy pattern. I mean, fast to tie. And I, as I told you, I got one in my bag, my fishing bag, and I got some eyes like this in my fishing bag. So if one of these eyes falls off, off during fishing, I just can glue on another one, a new one. So there you go, you guys. That's the see-through bait fish. It's just, oh my God, it looks great. And it, this one works, done, you know? And as I told you, when you throw it out and you can strip, and you stop stripping, this fly will go like it won't, it won't, it won't dive, you know. It, it doesn't go like this. You just pull it and, and just and just hover like this. And just and you can pull it again. So it's really a catcher and, and it's a really an easy fly to tie. So yeah. So there you go, that's the see-through bait fish. Thanks again, uh, Karen. And thanks you thank you, Tommy, for, for showing me this fly and for the weekend. We stayed there all weekend and we tied some flies and we caught a lot of fish and look at this. As you can see, I'm going to try to hold it there. I don't think it's in focus. I'm going to pull it a bit like that. See, it's nice. And this one actually became better than this one. Oh, it's about the same. A little bit less materials on this one and this one. It's almost the same length and they both look great. So, Okay, you guys, uh, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, I'm actually on uh, Instagram and you can follow me there. You can check me out on Instagram and follow me there and I will post some pictures. Uh, you know, uh, I'm not on Facebook anymore and, and Osman, you know, the little guy that, uh, that I'm fishing with, uh, he actually told me, I mean, perhaps you should be on Instagram and he helped me hooking me up on Instagram and yeah. And, and Stig too, he, my buddy, he also said yeah, perhaps you should be there. So now I'm on Instagram, you can follow me there and, and, and yeah, and ask me anything. I will try to help you as good as I can. I'm also going to leave a, leave a description in a material list underneath the movie. So yeah. Okay. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.